Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Luke chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. The Reverend Mark Kiesling is preaching. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. Our reading for today is from Luke chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. One Sabbath, when he went to dine at the house of the ruler of the Pharisees, they were watching him carefully. And behold, there was a man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus responded to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. Then he took him and healed him and sent him away. And Jesus said to them, Which of you, having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well on a Sabbath day, will not immediately pull him out? And they could not reply to these things. Now Jesus told the parable to those who were invited when he noticed how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, When you are invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give your place to this person. And then you will begin, then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, Go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus' parable has a lot of practical teaching in it about good manners and social graces. And as I read it, my hands kind of break out in sweat, and my internal temperature kind of starts to go up, because the parable sounds like something maybe my parents would have taught me growing up. And I can easily remember a situation through my years where I made social faux pas, like finding myself in a place I did not belong or that I wanted to be in. It was perhaps by complete accident or factors out of my control, or perhaps I was not giving wise attention to reading the room or being aware of my surroundings. And suddenly I knew everyone's eyes were on me, just as the Pharisees honed in on Jesus to see what he would do that Sabbath. The parable reminds me of that popular Southwest Airlines question from a few years ago that would present an embarrassing situation in life and ask the question, Want to get away? A feeling I have felt more than I would like to admit. But Jesus' parable is more than just an insightful story to keep one out of a socially awkward situation. Rather, Jesus perfectly addresses his context and knows the room very well and speaks to the heart of the Pharisees and speaks to the comfort Jesus' mercy and love brings to broken people, people like you and me. The parable also addresses perfectly my sin and causes me to reflect on my actions and response to Jesus' love for me. Our reading brings conviction to how many times I look down at someone because of their appearance or what I thought they could offer to a situation, or judging one without knowing their life history or experience in a broken world. How many times do I worry about looking good on the outside rather than being honest about who I am and being humble in the front of others? How many times do I express an opinion for the, for the desire to feel good about myself on topics for which I have no expertise or insight? Just to maybe score points or to make myself feel better about myself and maybe an unimportant realm of life, especially when I compare it to the immense blessings of living in Christ's kingdom. I so often wrongly prioritize things in life and wrongly take the seat of others instead of giving praise to those who deserve it, denying a way in which others might share in God's goodness more fully. How often do I turn a deaf ear to the psalm we read today? Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. For Jesus graciously graciously invites us to the banquet table and provides this refuge of his grace. Jesus is the one who reaches down into the well to his brother and sister and pulls them out. Jesus is the one that heals the sickness and infirmity of our sin and that gathers us together when there are times of corporate worship and also on our personal Sabbath time to hear his words and receive his rest. 
Our Lord graciously invites us and all people to the banquet table where he picks up lowly sinners and puts them at a place of honor based on his grace and mercy. For Jesus saw through every plan of man to keep on his target of showing mercy for every person so that he would not fall into the trap in order that he might show the mercy at the cross and humble himself that the whole world would know of our loving Heavenly Father. We echo the Apostle Paul who wrote, This saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. Paul could easily see himself in the place of those Pharisees on that Sabbath day and knew the power of the love of our Lord and Savior. In Philippians 2, he wrote, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourself, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Jesus loves you, and Jesus loves mercy. Jesus creates a humble heart in the lives of those who believe in him. This is the heart as the one that reflects the love of our Savior, a heart and mind of a redeemed sinner who God has given a true knowledge of himself, the need for forgiveness, and sees others as those in the equal need of redemption by the same Savior's blood. Our Lord Jesus humbled himself and gave of himself for us so that we might have life and to save sinners, and is now exalted in heaven. And he promises to those who humble themselves and trust in him that he will exalt and raise them on the last day. He sends his spirit to guide his people and to strengthen his people and empower them to follow his example, his example of humility and unselfishness, his example of looking out for the good of others and putting the needs of others above their own. In this humility, he gives his joy and service and extending Jesus' invitation to the banquet table and seeing Jesus exalted in the lives of others. We give thanks that we are exalted by the one who humbled himself for us and in whom we confess our faith. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.